welcome to our introduction to counterbalance valves, also uh, known as load holding valves or over center valves, you may know them as. Um, this is only a brief introduction, they're complicated valves. Uh, I don't want to go into too much detail at this stage, but um, this is, um, they're very common in mobile equipment. This is a typical application where you've got your cylinder with a load on top of it. Um, and our load holding valve is uh, protecting it from dropping basically is one of the main functions of it so if very often hoses on this side hoses are one of the weaker parts of the system so if the hose breaks we've got our load still supported by this relief valve and uh, check valve here um, it does have a normal relief valve function if we put too much load on the cylinder uh, we open the valve so we don't overstress this area but um the main reason is to hold the valve hold the cylinder in location so what we do then is we actually drive the cylinder down so if we put pressure to uh, in this case lower the cylinder it puts pressure on here which actually opens the valve a little bit we s there are various different uh, pilot ratios and lots of controls on here say so that we're we won't go into but um we actually drive the cylinder down so it's always in control um, if we're raising the cylinder then we can see we've got a check valve here so or check valve here so um, that will just drive the cylinder up without any major losses and we've got a little vent line here which um, in this case comes into the uh, cylinder line but sometimes we may need to vent that to atmosphere to stop uh, piloting issues so this is the traditional use of it but also as say it's known as an over center valve um, if your loads being pulled and pushed you don't want the speed to be changed with these load changes uh, we said earlier that the uh, load pressure affects the pressure drop across the control orifices so it can have a major effect on speed so if it was a an over center load then we'd probably put two counterbalance valves in one on each side and then drive it up and drive it down um, but they're uh, they're quite tricky little beasts, so be careful. Just order the exact code that's on the valve. Um, let's just have a quick look. A typical application is a scissor lift or uh, lifting cylinders, excavator arms, um, widely used in the mobile industry. Uh, so there's one example. Uh, there's another example again. You can see we've got a bit of welded pipe work to the top of the valve. It's located directly on the cylinder cylinder ports, the last one was actually a welded boss and as I say lots of different versions um, you can experiment a bit more with the different pilot ratios, see the effects of various things but we'll just um, introduce you to it, so what's happening here uh, in this condition the load's being held, we've got a nice poppet here so it gives us a good almost leak free seal now when we lower, you'll notice we put the pilot pressure on here, which comes into this little area, and there's a, there is an area there. So we then watch that move, that moves back and opens the valve to allow the flow through. So as I say, it's its own little closed loop control system. It's quite a complicated beast, but in the lifting, we've got the poppet here, just opens and. Uh, raises a cylinder. So, nice traditional hydraulics. Um, and we'll give you more information about them in a later video.